I really don't think people are appreciating enough just how impressive it is that Barcelona won the Liga this year. It's their first league title in the last four years. It's their first one without Messi. To go back, the last time Barcelona won the Liga without Messi was in 1999, and Pep Guardiola was the captain. He was still playing. Then you look at the state of this club when Xavi first took over in ninth and in relegation level form, in a financial disaster class, not knowing if they can sign players, if they can register players that they had already signed. It was an absolute mess. And then you fast forward to the summer, sure, they're signing players, but they don't actually know how many of them can come. They don't know what the financial situation of the team will be in a few years. They're asking big players, major players, to cut back salaries just so they can register players. So the fact that they've been able to achieve this, I think, speaks volumes to Xavi and Laporta. There's still a lot of progress to be made, but them actually winning silverware is really, really impressive. The league is a great indication when you want to judge a squad and the manager as a whole because it rewards consistency and it rewards longevity. In knockout football, you can peak at the right time. You can get lucky in a few games. It's not a big enough sample size to truly judge. How many times have we seen teams make a deep run in the Champions League or any form of knockout format when in reality they were probably not the best team? But in the league, you can't get lucky over 38 games. So I think what Barcelona was able to do, it's... It's a great indication of how good of a coach Xavi is because to deal with all the low blocks that the lower end teams throw at Barcelona, that's a skill. Real Madrid is unable to handle that consistently in the league. That's why they do so good in Europe. I think Xavi's done a great job. He's a young coach. By no means has it been a perfect season, but you've seen enough. There's enough of a foundation there to really want to believe that Xavi could build something big here at Barcelona. Xavi's also done an excellent job in developing the youth players. I mean, Pedri, Gavi, Bolde, even Araujo are all much better players this season than they were last season. And Xavi's ability to use that box midfield where he essentially plays Gavi as an inverted left winger just so he can play Frankie, Busquets, Pedri, and Gavi all together, it was incredible. It destroyed Real Madrid in the Supercopa because it created these mismatch situations and allowed them to outnumber the opponent's midfield in key areas. That's a tactical genius move. That's something that Pep has been doing. You've seen Arteta do it a little bit at Arsenal. Xavi also deserves a lot of credit for how good Barcelona's defense was this season. I mean, even at the best of times, Barcelona was not necessarily known for being an incredibly good defensive team. But what Xavi's done is he's absolutely rebranded it. There's a lot of games Barcelona won this season that was not in typical traditional Barca fashion. It wasn't aesthetic football or playing beautiful tiki-taka possession. It was a hard grinding 1-0 victory with a solid defensive performance. They did it against Real Madrid when they went into the Bernabeu with a ton of injuries. And a lot of that is Xavi's coaching and a good chunk of that is just recruiting, bringing in Koundé, bringing in Christensen on a free, developing Baldi. The fact that Barcelona was one of the best defenses in Europe, at one point the best defense, is a really good foundation to build upon. You look at Ter Stegen, buddy went to Turkey, came back with a new hairline, was one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Barca's recruiting was actually really solid. I mean, the fact that they were able to still attract big names despite the fact that they were in an economic disaster is really a good indication of how gargantuan the club is. I mean, you brought Robert Lewandowski, who's already achieved so much in football, willing to come to a team that you don't even know, he doesn't even know if his salary is going to be deferred. He comes in, wins the Pichichi, 22 goals, was so pivotal to them winning the league. Could he have been better in Europe? Sure, but also remember that in that last game against Inter Milan, Lewandowski was one of the few guys that showed up. So although you might want more from him, they would not win the league had he not been there. Such a good talisman, so important in scoring goals. And we've seen that with the other elite teams that you really do need a good number nine to build around. Then you think about Rafinha. I know... You know, some fans are inconsistent about their feelings towards Rafinha, but I think he was excellent. There was a stretch where with Pedri and Dembele out, Rafinha was really the only source of creativity. Such a big game player, scored in so many important moments. So I think to bring in a guy like that is quality. And he is good enough where you will have to have the debate on, do you want him or you want Usman Dembele in the right wing? Then obviously I already talked about how good Christensen was. But even Kessie, I mean, Kessie may not have had the season he wanted to, or he might have not been as good as people thought when they were watching him play for, play for Milan. But that goal he scored against Real Madrid in the El Clasico, that alone is what legendary moments are made of. And Kessie is going to go down in Barcelona history, even if it's just for that one goal. As impressive as this La Liga title win is, I do understand that Barcelona fans want more. 
and they expect more. At the end of the day, if you want to be a gargantuan club, a European elite team, you have to go far in the Champions League. You have to progress. And I don't think they're at that level yet. As good as their defensive record was this season, there was a ton of times where they were either bailed out by a Ter Stegen masterclass save, somebody clearing the ball off the line, or the attacker just missing the entire net. And when you're playing in the Champions League against the clubs like Bayern, Man City, those attackers and those players are going to be far more clinical. And they're not going to bail you out when you have defensive lapses. So I think they still have some ways to go. And they still need to bring in players. It's going to be hard with the economic situation. But this club and this squad as currently assembled, I think needs to improve if they want to be considered a European elite team. I think it's good for the league. You can rotate some players. But your best 11 really needs to be good in order to progress far in this tournament.